Hello friends, welcome back to Get Comfy with Comfy. We're here to check out this cool one ATI trajectory workflow by Phil, Machine Delusions. It's using Phil's path animator to make splines that will control the movement of the background or anything you don't pin down, basically. It starts up over here on the top left with the width and the height. You just set that for your target. Down here, we load the image in, and then if you go over to Edit Paths, I'll send you over to Phil to explain how the editor works. If we click on this, we get a UI. If I hit Control or Command V, um, I got a pop up here that's asking me what I like to um, allow. So I'm going to hit yes, and then I'm going to hit Control V again. So at the top, we can also load in from a directory our picture. We can clear the image. Um, I just cleared it. I'm just going to Control V to bring it back. Then we have our pencil button. I'm going to delete all everything. We have our pencil button. We can draw our paths, and you see them pop up on the side here. Uh, we have a pin button. Now, anything we pin will not move on the image. So again, bottom button here, I'm going to delete it all. And so if I want myself to stay stationary, I'm going to use the pin on the, on the left here to pin down m me in the scene. And then I'm going to use the pencil to draw what direction I want everything to go in here, like so. Up at the top, we can do the path width and as well as opacity, so we can see uh, what direction the trajectories are flowing and uh, what, what we have selected here on the side. On the side, we have some few options uh, that I've recently added. We have a uh, timeline range, and uh, this will allow us to add a start and stop time similar to the uh, control net the apply control net node, right? We have a start and stop percentage. I want to start 20% in and I want to end 75% out. That's pretty much the same idea with the uh, path options here. We can start 25% in and end 75% if we want. Interpolation, um, you know, ease in, ease out, linear, etc. And we also have a visibility mode. So when it is not being displayed, so this dead zone here, do we want it to be uh, pop in or disappear? So, so do we want the uh, thing to be not visible and then be visible? Or do we want a static always visible and then when it hits the percentage of start, then it starts to move? Um, that's basically that. And you get this control with every point along the whole drawing. So you can do that with both static and non-static. You can hit escape to save or just save the paths. And then a uh, you can preview it here with these images out with a video compile node if you'd like. Moving our way down, we have the delete path um, and a select path. So if I do the delete, anyone I click on will remove. I'm just going to bring the opacity down so we can see. You can see they are being removed when I have the delete selected. Uh, or we can just do the select button um, over here, but selecting them in on the side also pretty much does the exact same thing. Again, the bottom button clears all paths. What I like to clear, yes, so we have a fresh template. And then the last but not least, almost the most important, is the lock param uh, perimeter button. So if I click this, it'll pop up and ask me how many do I want. So 12 is fine. I hit OK. And you can notice that I have pins on all of the edges of the image. So this is important because um, if I want the camera to be static, my image to be static, but all the elements inside to move, this is you want to lock the edges. You can do this manually if you want. You can just delete them and use the pin button and just be like, OK, one here, one here, you know, kind of like the four corners kind of vibe. That totally works too. Um, I just made it a little bit easier just by in integrating like a designated button to do it. Um, and yeah, after running it, you'll get something that looks sort of like this. So I pinned myself down and we have the buildings and everything moving in the directions that I have provided.